you put the back of your hand on the table yeah. and just hold your thumb and forefinger together because we're going yeah. to do a little bit of kinesiology now yeah. to test your responses so you know what your unconscious mind is saying to you. Okay, You don't have to do this for theta healing to work but it helps that you know what your unconscious mind actually believes because it might be different to what you think you believe. Okay. So, be if I use either hand will do, if this one gets tired you can use okay. the other one, it doesn't matter. Right, so hold it reasonably firmly and just yeah. say my name is Susie. My name is Susie. Now say my name is Debbie. My name is Debbie. And, and it's not know. and you've got a weak muscle. Do you want to try again? My name is Susie. My name is Susie. My name is Debbie. My name is Debbie. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right. So where are we going to start here? Um, I think I'd like to do things that are to do with my uh, family breakup, although it was 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. I'm sure, as well as I've done, that there will be things that are deep-rooted, mm -hmm. um, and it'd be great to shift them, any kind of negative beliefs or around that sort of, uh, what was very, very traumatic Time. Okay, okay. Now I'm just going to explain. I hold my hand here because I like to. Yeah. I like to feel the transfer of energy. It's actually not necessary. Okay. But it's just something I like to do. So, here we go. Um, this divorce feels like the end of my life. This uh, divorce feels like the end of my life. Now, you still hold that belief. It's still there even though you're 10 years further on. Yeah. So I'm going to remove that with your permission. Because my... Because my you you said yes. yes your yes, your, yes, your, yes. your, your muscle tight says muscle yes. says yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'm removing it now. Okay. This divorce means the end of my life. This divorce means the end of my life. And the answer is no. It's gone. So how does that... How do you do that? Oh, well, how long do you want to be here for <laughs> while I explain? <laughs> the dummy's died. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's going into the theta brain wave, yeah. supervising the change and then just checking to see that it's done. But so I'm very fast, so, so you don't realise there's all that behind it. But he's talking to my subconscious. I'm talking to your subconscious mind. Uh, okay. There's nothing left for me to live for. There's nothing left for me to live for. That's not true. Uh, I fear there's nothing left for me to live for. Well, you fear. have children, so that won't apply. Yes. yes. That won't Give apply. You everything to live for. All right. I'm redundant. I'm redundant. Yes, removing that now. I, uh, I've made a video exactly about that, being redundant at the end of a relationship. Removing that now. I feel redundant. I feel redundant. Other people see me as redundant. Other people see me as redundant. I feel shame because I'm redundant. I feel shame because I'm redundant. Yes, removing the shame. I feel shame because I'm redundant. I feel shame because I'm redundant. Um, I fear I'm redundant. I fear I'm redundant. No. You're not redundant anymore. There's nobody who will want me. There's nobody who will want me. We're still there. Yeah, we so are. removing that right now. <laughs> with your permission. Everything is done with your permission, okay? If yeah. you don't want me to do something, you tell. Yeah. Okay? Um, removing uh, nobody will want me. Yeah. Try again. Nobody will want me. Gone. I fear nobody will want me. I fear nobody will want me. Gone. Because my husband betrayed me, other people think less of me. Because my husband betrayed me, other people think less of me. Removing that too. Try. Because my husband betrayed me, other people think less of me. Go on. And how, how is it that, um, why, why is it people hold these beliefs for so long? They're like thought forms. They're like, your conscious mind feels that it's, it's worked its way through them. And it has. Mm. But at the same time, it's like a thought form that's been embedded in you. And yes. it hasn't actually been cleared. So uh, you press the right button and that'll come up for you again. Right. But it's there submerged. It's not there yeah. at the forefront of your mind. So that's why you, why you can't deal with it because you don't even know. You don't even there. know you've still got it. Um, okay. Because I've been betrayed, others will think less of me. Because I've been betrayed, others will think less of me. And that's gone as well. I expect them to. I expect them to. I fear they will. I fear they will. And that's not there. All right, what, are, what other aspects? Are these the kind of things that you find that people who are going through divorce or family breakup are really common oh, yeah. beliefs? Yes, yes. Your, your whole sense of who you are and your validity goes. Yes. Right, so let's talk about validity. I am no longer valid. I am no longer valid. Right. And, oh, that, well, mean, and that means that's my a yes. subconscious that's saying, a yes. yes, I believe that. Yeah. 
Um, now, I'm going to remove that, but there'll be a whole bunch of, of reasoning underneath that, and it's yeah. conditioning as a woman that makes us feel like this. Okay. Because I have been discarded, I am no longer valid. Try that. Because I have been discarded, I'm no longer valid. Removing that. Try it. Because I've been discarded, I'm no longer valid. It's gone. I believe this. I believe this. Other people think this of me. Other people think this of me. And that's not true. Um, right, validity. Um, this is a very strong one. Very, very strong. Without a husband, I am not valid. Without a husband, I am not valid. And that's there. Now, this is, this is a, a strong one for women, in general, yeah. because we are conditioned to believe that we are only valid if we serve a, a man yeah. and look after the children. And even staunch feminists, deep down, oh, deep still down. Got, you can't, deep you can't down, choose they've got these it. beliefs. They've yeah. got it. Most yeah. people have got this one. Without a husband, I am no longer valid. Without a husband, I am no longer valid. Okay. I have failed as a woman. I have failed as a woman. That's a yes to, removing it now. I have failed as a woman. I have failed as a woman. And that has gone. Um, if I had been any better, he would have been faithful. If I had been any better, he would have been faithful. That's a yes. So, what we're going to do is remove that. Try it. If I had been any better, he would have been faithful. Right, it's gone. And the other one that goes with it is, I must be a failure because he was unfaithful. I must be a failure because he was unfaithful. And that's a yes. And removing that right now. Try it. I must be a failure because he was unfaithful. And that's gone. How are you feeling? It's so easy. <laughs> it's, it's much like, easier than find, any other therapy I've ever come across. What I find amazing is you're going into kind of quite deep stuff and mm. yet it just feels fine. It's well, no, right. there's no you feel kind the of sense of, yeah, I don't, I don't feel uh, like I'm, I'm um, having to go into, deep no. into anything. It's very, it's actually very calm, the whole process, mm. which is what really surprises me. You don't have to feel the pain. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> your, your unconscious yeah. mind will just recognise it for you, yeah. and we will get shot of it with your permission. Yeah. So, is there anything else that you find that people have gone through um, you know, family breakup situation? Perhaps guilt over parenting, that, uh, because that's a big thing, I think. Oh, the whole single yes. parenting dilemma. Yes, yes. I, my children will be damaged because I'm not enough for them. My children will be damaged because I'm not enough for them. That's a yes, removing that right now. Now, let's just try this in parts. I fear my children will be damaged. I fear my children will be damaged. I expect my children to be damaged. I expect my children to be damaged. I believe my children will be damaged. I believe my children will be damaged. And I believe I am not enough for my children. I believe I'm not enough for my children. That's a yes, yeah. and removing it. I believe I'm not enough for my children. I believe I'm not enough for my children. Half gone. Mm. Half gone. Now, I think there's a, a, a belief that children need both a man and a woman. Yeah. But given that that can't happen mm -hmm. in, a, in the home environment yeah. after a divorce, I'm going to give you, download a few receptors for an understanding of how it feels that given that that can't happen, mm -hmm. uh, you have the resources and are capable of caring for your children and that they will not be damaged by your care mm -hmm. or lack of care. Okay, downloading this into every cell of your body, every aspect of your being. Okay, so let's just check that that's happened. Given the circumstances, I am sufficient for my children. Given the circumstances, I am sufficient for my children. Yes. Uh, given the circumstances, my children will not be damaged. Given the circumstances, my children will not be damaged. And that's a yes. Great. Okay, that's that so quick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And what's your message to people, um, I mean people can find different ways of dealing with the stress and difficulty of divorce, but why do you think theatre, or what stage do you think theatre should be investigated at the very least? To my mind, this is so dramatic in helping a person in whatever they're going through, that the sooner they get to it the better. So it could really, if they're in a state of anger and fear, it's going to make a big difference to how they go through mediation. The anger, the fear, them. the betrayal, the lack of trust in yourself yeah. and in anybody else, the um, feeling that you're inferior in some way or wrong or um, just on the trash heap, whatever mm -hmm. it is. 
um, it's useful to do this. It's not only useful, it's radically better to do this than not do this. It makes a huge difference. And, and so, I mean, a divorce is never easy, but it doesn't have to be as difficult as it seems to be for so many people.